Hey, how you going? This is my 3D printer with an SKR 2.0 Revision B in it. Totally working screen. Sensorless homing with 2209s. Now it's been uh, one of the wars a bit lately, heavily modified, spat at and kicked a couple of times. So just give me a sec and I'll just show you that the actual probing does work. Yeah, I won't go on with that because that takes forever. Let me just show you. Uh, what I've done. Give me a sec. Okay, this is the SKR 2.0. Now I didn't really modify the harness at all. It's just sitting there. I cut a bit out of the top to let the wires go through. I'm using this cheap extension off eBay. I actually run OctaPrint, so I don't really run the screen, but it's just handy to have. I didn't want to buy another one. The screen can be adjusted. You have to change these wires around, so get a good look at mine and have a look at it. Um, this is my temperature sensor, which I just do you mean off there because it was actually faulty here i tried to run it off here but it was faulty i was getting a t0 i think that's maybe where the error comes from people saying it's from the wiring harness but i, I don't know I, I haven't got the wiring harness mine was faulty when i tried to connect it up there now these two off this one here as you can see just i've just got the normal plug in using a normal harness this one here on the end that's your probe so you just got to just connect those two wires. They can go in either way. It doesn't matter. Uh, just get your... So now these are your optical lens. They're quite easy. They just, just run them down. So it runs down there. Go along and then comes out on your optical. So, and same with the other one. The other one actually... The other one runs out through there all through there or did I cut that sorry it's been so long it's been such a long project I can't remember but yeah, it's just a matter of getting those opticals and just get them in that fashion yellow at the top and for some reason the yellow is in the middle on here so then yellow goes up the top so and then uh, what else have we got we've got 2209s uh, first one that's a jumper setting so the first one actually has the little one in there for sensorless homing and then you have your other one just there any your one so and on the firmware that i've supplied uh, so you get x y sensorless homing and then all the rest of those little ones are off so because you don't want sensorless homing on any of them um, just make sure that with these, uh, with the optical lens, that that's your left one and that's your right one. And don't switch them around, otherwise your motors won't won't work properly when they uh, realign. Uh, what else is there? Your, your heat board. So your heater plugs in from down here, runs up there, into there. So red on this side, white on that side. Red, white. Don't get your polarities mixed up. 
and then same with this one this one's white and what's the other color i'm not too sure i can't see it but anyway that's the white one and then that's your heat bed that's your hot end runs into here and what else is there they are the two fans so the hot end fan and the other fan so i'll just show you this one here this is the bottom one here so top there bottom there that's the way my board is anyway don't get it fixed up just have a look if you're confused to go to the big tree and get the schematics it's quite easy real real easy pin layout i actually plug my controller fan or my cooler fan from in here plug it straight into the board here so i don't need that to be controlled that can just be on all the time um, I've only just finished this, so I'll probably, I might put that chamber back on just to make sure it blows over them correctly. Uh, I think that's it. You're pretty well good to go. Uh, don't hold me responsible if you do damage anything. Uh, but yeah, that's a SKR 2.0, and I'll put the firmware down the bottom. Like my firmware will be for 2209s. Uh, I'll put the, the bin file as well as um, just the configuration and everything so you can make your own if you want. But yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, take, take the project on. You should be pulling your hair out and selling an unfinished printer. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.